Friends, uh, I'm going to read to us today from, um, it's Saturday, January 28. I'm going to read to us from an earlier passage. We got introduced earlier in the week to Philip. After the resurrection, during the birth of the early church, he did some extraordinary evangelism. First with the Samaritans, beginning of chapter 8, and then uh, with the Ethiopian eunuch, on the one hand, uh, helping to heal a breach that had lasted for a thousand years between the ten northern tribes and the two southern, between the Samaritans in the north and uh, the southern Jewish part of the, the, the southern Jewish nation that was gathered around Jerusalem, and then with uh, the Ethiopian eunuch that started the Christian movement in Africa. So he's quite a remarkable guy, but it's interesting even before. Uh, anyone else had thought about evangelism, he was involved with it. And I love this story. It says you so much about his personality and his gifts that God had put in him and just the simplicity and concreteness of this. So I'm going to read um, two passages, one John 1, uh, 45 and 6, and then one John 12, 21 22. So first John 1, Philip found Nathanael and said to him, we have found the one about whom Moses and the law and the prophets wrote, Jesus, son of, Na of, of Joseph from Nazareth. And Nathaniel said, ha, can anything good come from Nazareth? And Philip said, you better come and see. And then uh, John 12, 21 and 22. This is uh, a different encounter, different moment later in the gospel of John, where some Greeks who were from Bethsaida in Galilee come to Philip and they say, sir, we wish to see Jesus. It's funny, in England, uh, I had a preaching class, and we would go to these churches in the Cotswolds, these little country churches, little towns, villages, and uh, several times I got up into the pulpit in those places, and I saw an inscription that was this verse, Sir, we would see Jesus. A good thing for preachers to keep in mind. Uh, Philip went and told Andrew, and then Andrew and Philip went and told Jesus. Uh, this is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. One of the simplest and most effective ways to help people uh, grow in their faith and really encounter God in a, in a fresh new way, or maybe for the first time, is to be a link. That's what Philip's doing in the first passage, the very beginning of the gospel. He has had an encounter with Jesus and without anyone telling him that this is an important thing to do or coaching him or teaching him, that all comes later. In, in the, He becomes one of 12 disciples and he joins in with Jesus and then is the great figure in the early church. Way before that, I mean, he's just met Jesus. He's already sharing with friends and family uh, that he's met this remarkable man. And he's inviting them to come and encounter him. And even when they're skeptical, it doesn't deter them. Nathaniel says, oh, he's from Nazareth, Galilee. Come on, the Messiah can't come from there. Nothing good will come out of that, Hicksville. And, and Philip says, come on along. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'll let you meet him. You can make up your own mind. Powerful, powerful way to respond to someone. A great link. He was a link. And of course, Nathaniel uh, comes to meet Jesus. He finished that little uh, story. And Jesus says, oh, there's an honest guy who expressed his doubts from the start. This is a, a, an Israelite in whom there is no guile, who's not a schemer, who just comes out with what he thinks. And Nathaniel goes, oh, you read my mind from far away. Something must be going on here. <laughs> you, you, maybe it's true what my friend Philip said. And, and Jesus says to him, well, you know, you, you, you believe because I can, I can understand what's going on with you. And uh, you're going to see greater things than this if you come with me. So Philip is a link, and Nathaniel joins in. And then uh, in the second story, people are just approaching him. They come up to Philip, and they they want to see Jesus. And so uh, he tells Andrew, and together they go and find Jesus. And they, they, they again, they're a link. They're a connecting link between. Um, I'll bet you know someone who needs to connect with the Lord, who needs the church, needs a place to use their gifts, needs a place to get their questions answered, need a place to have their, their needs met or their issues resolved. Um, so um, we don't know, need to have, know all the answers, but often all we need to do is be a link. Philip didn't settle the issue of Jesus' origins with Nathaniel. He just said, let's connect in and, and make up your own mind. And it went from there. 
But to do that, we need to know the resources and opportunities of our own communities, our own churches, and the ways they can serve those who might come and, and connect. So let's pray. Activate our networks, Lord. Give us imagination to see how people can enhance each other's lives. Let us be that missing link that generates life and faith. We ask it in your son's great name. And all God's viewers said, Amen. Thanks for being with us this week.